Nairobi, the capital of Kenya, and headquarters of UNEP, the United Nations Environmental Organization. Conserving natural resources for future generations is one of UNEP's main objectives. Working with young people is central to achieving this aim. During this United Nations decade of education and sustainable development, we have to do much, much more to reach young people. Leverkusen, June 21, 2004. Professor Klaus Töpfer, Executive Director of the United Nations Environment Program, and Vanna Venning, Chairman of the Board of Management of Bear AG, sign a unique agreement on global cooperation to protect the environment. The Bear Group is the first private sector company to partner the United Nations Environment Program in environmental projects for young people. Joint projects are to be set up around the world to give young people a better understanding of the concept of environmental protection and sustainable development. One of the largest joint projects is the Young Environmental Envoy Program. Young environmentalists from Asia, Latin America, Africa, and Eastern Europe were invited to Leverkusen to gain first-hand experience of scientific methods and technologies that can be used to tackle the challenges of environmental protection. With these experiences, they are going back into their home countries as envoys for the environment. I really enjoy the fact that I could see all the facilities, uh, all the technology, the bio have, and uh, I have to emphasize the fact that I will never have an opportunity to see those kind of things in my own country in Poland. It's a good chance for me to get access to those high-tech products and uh, eco-friendly things that Germany has invented. I hope that the kind of support we are receiving will be able to create the ne much needed change. Before receiving an invitation, the young people first had to take part in a kind of national environmental Olympics, with the winners selected on the basis of their activities and ideas on the subject of environmental protection. Kenya, in the hills around Nairobi, thousands of people live without water and electricity. In addition to famine and HIV AIDS, environmental wastage is a major issue here. Yvonne has set up a tree planting project to stop soil erosion and at the same time introduce children to the concept of environmental protection and sustainable development. This personal commitment earned her a place on the Young Environmental Envoy program. Uh, with the project of planting trees, I think it's very important because planting trees is not only an investment for our future, but it's an investment for our environment. And as you saw all these children involved, it's also very important to get them involved in it because they need to get engaged from when they're very young so they can be able to create a sustainable future. Warsaw. Poland is one of the fastest growing economies in Eastern Europe. As such, it is particularly dependent on environment-friendly technologies. Alexander Glowala is another environmental envoy. A student at Warsaw Agricultural University, he has devoted himself to a very special aspect of environmental protection. He has devised a new system for measuring environmental toxins. For this work, he received an invitation to Leverkusen. Alexander cultivates liver cells from rats. These cells are used instead of animals to detect environmental toxins, so animal experiments could become superfluous. During my research, I use only five, maybe 10 rats, instead of 500. This is actually uh, very important, because you can save, of course, animals' life. Sao Paulo is the largest city in South America and the economic center of Brazil. Carla is a student at the University of Piracicaba, near Sao Paulo, where huge piles of old car tires are a feature of the landscape. The illicit dumping of old tires has become a major problem in Brazil. Carla has developed a recycling process in which raw materials are recovered from the tires.
The rubber from the tires contains a lot of carbon. This carbon can be recycled for use in carbon filters. Such filters can be used, for example, to purify water. Yvonne, Alexander, Carla, and many others like them receive support from UNEP and Bayer so that they can share, exchange, and extend their ideas, knowledge, and experiences. As envoys for environmental protection, they spread enthusiasm for sustainable development. The envoy program is just one part of the cooperation between Bayer and UNEP. There are many more major and minor projects, all of them designed to spread the message of sustainable development. Small steps does make a big difference. People have to work together to solve environmental problems. When the partnership comes together, they, create, they can make things happen. It's all about people working together and realizing a common position. And that's the only way you can begin to understand your future and thus be able to have a sustainable future.